Hi guys, Jeremy Fragrance here. How many sprays and where? Where should you spray your fragrance and how many times? I'm going to go through a couple of situations. School, office, plane, car, train, date, club, city, festival. Let me start with the easy only three spray routine. Behind each ear is where you always start. One, two. The third one is always on the back. These three to me are the most essential ones because they are the less and least annoying for you, the least annoying for the people, and at the same time the most efficient for you and the most efficient for your people. Why? because they don't annoy you when you, they are here and they are in your private intimate bubble so they're intimate and efficient and the people around you are very very invigorated by your smell without being overwhelmed. Perfect situations are very close encounters. A train ride where you know the next eight hours or three hours you sit in a train, a plane, a car, you are in a car. If you are traveling, I suggest you to get one of my travel atomizers. We also have them for women at fragrance.one. You can just apply them. You can also apply one spray and when you get out of the car, you can apply 20 sprays. But generally, if you are in close encounters like a train ride, a plane and a car, I suggest you to be in close encounter spray routine, meaning three sprays. The next spray routine is to add two more. Two more on the front right here. A bit of a aggressive, confident boost right here. Boom, here I am. You give somebody a handshake, boom. You stand here, whoosh, it wafts to him or to her. It's very nice. This is my office school routine. I generally always do five sprays anyways, but if I'm in the office, 80% of the time, whenever I test fragrances, I just do five sprays. Here, because oftentimes you need an extra kick and also, as I told you, fragrances do last longer on your skin, on your clothes than on your skin. So I suggest you to spray them as much as you want on your clothes. It's better for long lasting performance. I made a video about that. This to me is the standard spray routine. Five sprays. I'm only mentioning the office or the school because this is where most people on their lives are most of the time, 80% of the time. Mostly you are doing something, you are productive. If you are not productive, not doing anything with people, it's also fine. You don't have to wear any fragrance or you can test it on yourself. Now, the next one is seven sprays and this is for the extreme going out type of situation. You go to the city center, you go to a festival, you go to a club. There you add two more sprays, which is if you don't have long hair on your shoulder, because this perfectly radiates to everybody in your close area. And if you have long hair, I suggest you to spray it in your hair. Because it, the better thing about that is it's more intimate than just on your clothes right here. So you're really keeping it right here and you really have that mythical, majestic aura. I remember when I was in Düsseldorf, I met a very cool, wealthy, successful, older gentleman and when I got closer to him, I think I even gave him a hug at the end or something. This guy smelled fantastic, like some gentleman's cologne, patchouli vibe. You, you didn't notice it up front, but when you came a little bit in this intimate area, it was very, very nice. So oftentimes with fragrances, less is more. I did receive more compliments often when I applied less. So keep that in mind, guys. Those were my three spray routines. Three, five or seven sprays. The more dense the environment is, the less sprays. The more widespread the environment, the more sprays. Thank you for watching guys. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.